ain't been switch. broke in a minute. Nah, nah, I tryna run these digits. Nah, nah, Put my little bro on the pin. Nah, nah, we hop out the car with extensions. Nah, nah, these niggas be pistols, they switchin'. Nah, 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 Playin' with bro, then you go on the mission. Me and my niggas, we all on the mission. Focus on money, ain't worry about bitches. All right, y'all. So in this one, we're going to watch Coach Yeb and Ducky actually break down the differences between the meta in Indonesia and in the Philippines. So, yeah, let's check it out, y'all. When it comes to, uh, on the topic of uh, Indonesia, right? Um, uh, Indonesia versus Philippines. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Masasabi niyo bang may, may iba din sa approach at mindset siguro ng mga players? Ba, huh. or coaches, ganun. Um, I mean, sure, surely may iba, pero parang ano ba sila? May, oh. Kasi sa perspective ng mga viewers, at namin mga casters, behind sila, mm. kumpara sa atin, naturally. Pero ganun ba talaga? Eh? Ganito. Yung ako ah, ano ko lang, opinion. Opinion. Sa Indonesian players, gusto nila i-show off yung mechanical skills nila. Uh, Kasi uh, yung macro nila, hindi ko alam, ako oh, baka pangit yung term ko kulang or hindi bro i say this so much bro that's what i said rrq's biggest weakness was when i watched them play if you actually go to my rrq reactions on the channel you'll actually see me explaining how that's where rrq was lacking that's exactly why they lost like i i, I was actually i said the exact same thing that's crazy yung understanding nila sa game so ano lang mambao nila Nag pro player sila kasi sobrang lupit ng macro nila sobrang lupit ng micro ah micro. ng micro nila gumamit ng hero na to mm. ngayon ayun lang i mean yeah. suntukan ng suntukan no, to suntukan ng suntukan oh. na eh, parang manok oo oh, oh, oh. <laughs> seryoso naman eh parang sabong oh, parang sabong dun eh pero hindi rin madali kalaban yun ano oh, naman gets 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 uh -huh. gets hindi hindi nah, see the thing is they work very very hard but it's working very hard on their mechanics they don't work hard on the things that matter because the mechanics is good and the mechanics is cool. It can it can beat certain teams, but when a team has both, then like you don't even need as much mechanics if you master the macro, to be honest. Because most people are bad at the macro because it's so complicated and difficult to understand that. It's very easy to practice getting quicker with buttons and pressing buttons more accurately and stuff. That's the easy thing to master. Understanding the macro is insanely difficult and that's why those teams that have mastered that are the teams that always stand out. It's been that way historically throughout the entire Mobile Legends history. Hindi ibig sabihin na ganun sila, hindi na sila mananalo. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. Lason sila. Oh, hindi, hindi porket madungis yung laro nila. Is madungis din nila, ano, i-execute yun. It's just that ang hirap nilang sabayan. Kasi para, alam mo yung para yung ano, Di ba pagkababa ng dalawang manok? <laughs> yung uh -huh. magkatalikod, tapos biglang nagkaharap. Biglang mm -hmm. nagkagaroonan. Sila Paluan kasi eh. ganun eh. Tuwing magkikita sila, nagbabanggaan eh. Paluan ng paluan. Oh, paluan, paluan ng paluan eh. So, so um, I think, tama naman yung observation ng general public na talagang la laban, labanan. Ang mm -hmm. unang, parang yung default na strat ng Indonesian teams ay pagalingan tayo. Oh, pagalingan tayo pumindot. Where, uh, whereas dito sa Philippines, Utakan tayo. Utakan tayo. Kasi, uh, no, na-feel ko yun eh. Hindi, Pagalingan tayong pumindot, pero as a team. Ganun nung mm. sa Pilipinas eh. Or, <laughs> ah, mas magandang term. Mm. Mm. Or more like, hindi tayo lumalaban ng patas. Alam mo yun? Oh, para Dapat sa lamang natin, ako. Da bago, bago kita i-engage, lamang muna oh, ako. Hindi, hindi. Sa, sa Indonesia kasi is, parang... Uh, gagamitin yung sarili ko kasi magaling ako. Oh. Yung Pilipino kasi is gagamitin yung team ko ah, okay, okay. para talunin kayo. Okay. <laughs> I ganun. think mas maganda. Uh, Ngayon nga yung better explanation. I think that's, so. uh, that's a better analogy for it. Yeah. Kaya, kaya nga, itong papag-usapan natin na Indonesia is a basically a great, or MPL Indonesia is a great showcase of individual skills. Which is true. Oh. Kasi yes. doon mo talaga makikita, ay, ang galing nito, ang galing oh. ni Nael, ang galing, galing ni kung sino man Ponzo Pilato naglalaro si doon. Si Luke. Si Luke. Lapu-lapu, galing nun. Hmm. Diba? Pero aside from that, wala ka makita masyadong macro-centric place na ginagawa nila. Yeah. It's just that, you know, pagalingan talagang pumindun. Okay. So, hindi si... I don't, I don't think the macro gets enough, gets enough light on it either because even when it comes down to the filipinos 
like the audience and the viewers and stuff usually only really focus on the mechanical aspects of it still. Like they, they don't notice the macro and how well that's being played and what the teams are doing on that front. They, they're just so, cause I guess the mechanics is just way easier to spot. They don't notice how the teams are getting ahead of another team in gold, the little decisions that they make when they're behind what they do. Like they don't notice all of these little details that makes you a beast when it comes down to the macro. And most people don't realize that that's all it actually takes to win a game of mobile legends is mastering the macro. Sila technically behind. Hindi sila behind. Hindi sila behind. They're, they're just lagging in terms of understanding what is necessary to win. Okay. Siguro, pwede ko idagdag. Behind sila sa magtuturo sa kanila. Sa okay. Okay. coaching staff. Ang ganda yeah. ng segue na to. Kasi ito na yung <laughs> next point ko eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, nasabi ko sa isa kong mga podcast na hindi cool, um, hindi cool lang ng players sa Indonesia. Kulang sila ng... Hindi sila, as in, okay, sige, masaya magkaroon ng import. As a Filipino, proud ako na yung mga imports. Pero ang tunay import players na magaling yung mechanics. Kyrie, for example, ngayon, si Ira, di ba? Mm. Parang ganun. Hindi nila, hindi naman kulang yun sa Indonesia eh. Kulang talaga ng coaches. Yun talaga. And I think, ano ah, pare, aside from coaches, I think the thing about Indonesia is sobrang bilis kasi ng cycles ng players nila. If they don't achieve a certain level of success. Mm. Tinatanggal ka ah. nila without even thinking mm. of okay. building the chemistry along the way. If you th- if you look at my team, mm. diba? I trust the process that they yeah. would eventually build the yes. chemistry. Diba? Yes. Kasi, thank you, Dax. Kasi, ang dami beses ko sinabi sa cast. Mm. Na, yung, yung etong success ng brand, investment to nung season yeah. 10. Ang dami mm. kasing, ang dami uh. kasing teams at the moment na gusto ng instant success yeah those are those are you know stalwarts mm. uh kaya ng this stalwarts kasi talaga tawag <laughs> sila Venus is the wise yung galing sila sa ano pare galing sila sa qualifiers ah on the uh, on oh, the ba and then eventually went on to imperial indonesia just yeah. basically dominate ah uh-uh. di ba sobrang dalang mangyari niya mga yan those are prodigies mm. kaya nga, <laughs> sinasabi ko sa sa mga players ko that uh, this uh, particular game that you're playing is not hard. Hindi siya ganun, hindi siya ganun ka, ano, hindi siya ganun kahirap. You just have to be very patient to develop yourself. Okay. Tama yan. Yeah. So, Marami kasing gusto talaga ng instant gratification particularly at this age. Uh-oh. So yung mga Gen Zs niyan Eto. Yeah, that's a that's a huge problem. That like I love the fact that they're touching on this. And what's crazy is this is going to go over so many people's heads because it's not just straightforward in your face. Oh, mechanic, mechanic, mechanic this. Like that's that's what you hear so much like people just focus so heavily on mechanics not realizing that that's that's not how this game is played. That's not what this game is about. And then you can't even tell them that it's not about that. And then they don't realize that the teams who perform the best they have like the, the mechanics seem so clean on certain players because everyone on their team is playing the macro very well, playing the micro very well, and it's easier when your team's doing their. T- if you don't get CC'd by three different people at the same time, it's very easier to land mechanics when you're not under the stress and you know that your team is going to do what they're supposed to do. So all you have to do is focus on actually hitting your skills and landing your skills. People don't realize like. The pressure of playing the game and knowing your team is not going to hold up their end, the second that, that you're going for an objective, you're going to get dove by the enemy team because they're just going to jump on you because your team will do nothing about it. The pressure of trying to land a retribution and knowing your team is incompetent while you're trying to land that retribution, it just adds so much more pressure and makes it so much more difficult because now you're trying to anticipate when the enemy, if the enemy has a hero that can hit an ultimate to get the turtle down, and retry right after, right at the same time. Like, you got so much to think about. And then you got to look at their EXP laner. What's their EXP laner skills? And will they just jump at you at the same time as their um as their jungler? It's, it's very, very much more difficult if your team does not have an understanding of the macro. And and most teams just don't. And that's why the game is so, is so tough to play. Like, 
because it's not tough because it's a hard game. It's not tough because it's difficult to win. It's tough because the players don't actually know how to play. They're just all mechanics. Uh, opinion mo lang din. Mm. Bryn, sobrang gandang example talaga ng process. Mm. Mm. Yung, yung team na binuo mo na nagtiwala ka. Tama. Tapos, alam nila kung paano gamitin yung team nila. Bakit? Ito, opinion mo lang. Skills-wise, Kyrie, I mean, asasi, alam mo yun? Oh, mm-hmm. sige. Sabi mo na, coach, wag ka mag- Uh, uh, agree, feel ko agree naman lahat tao. Sans, na, talagang magaling. Sans, mm. alam mo 'yon, mechanics ah, mechanics. Oh, oh, sobrang mm. galing ng mga 'yon. Pero si Bren hindi sila lumaban ng mechanics sa mechanics. Mm. Ganon, ganon ka alam nila yung gagawin nila. So, yeah. at this point siguro nakikita niyo na kung they don't do mechanics versus mechanics. That's how much they know what they're doing. That's insane. That's an insane statement. That is an insane statement, bro. And it's about time some of the coaches start. Like, people don't know how much game the coaches is giving away right now. Because not many people can analyze the game at this level where you can see these things. But the top people are telling you the secrets right now. And so many people are not going to pick up on what's being said. It's crazy. When we say identity setting hindi namin kailangan maging pinakamagaling in every aspect of the game. We just yeah. have to know our win conditions and yes. how to beat you. Yeah. Yun. Tama na. Uh, so, sobrang agree ako dun. So, I was talking about this all day yesterday. I was talking about this for some hours yesterday, man. And nobody was hearing it. <laughs> no, nobody. I've been talking about this for a whole month playing the game and nobody's hearing it. And then... The coaches just come out and say every single thing that's been said. It's it's crazy. Dun sa fact na kulang ang coaches. Part na dun, kulang ang development. Mm-hmm. So, in a way, hindi siya, hindi siya under. Parang kat, ka, kasabay, ka, ka, ano siya, kalinya. Ang kailangan isipin ng Indoorgs and even other regions mm-hmm. here. Dalang lalo na sa mga kumukuha ng mga players at uh, coaches sa Filipino sa fi, sa Philippines is think about it in a long run hindi yeah. mo siya pwedeng instant success so, pero man, bilis kasi ng cycle mo pare eh. ano nasa race yung pagiging ano kaya rin kailangan Filipino coach <laughs> hindi hindi <laughs> hindi rin hindi rin ako hindi rin no, uh, hindi rin. hindi ako trader oh ano yeah. uh, tatanggalin to tingnan mo hindi <laughs> <laughs> hindi ako trader lagi mo nang caption uh, lagi mo nang <laughs> translation tama tatanggalin yan <laughs> gusto, gusto kong ano kumbaga pinaghirapan ni Daki to mm. magisa oo uh-huh. pinaghirapan ko to magisa pinaghirapan ni Labon chan panda yan si Lazay siguro kumbaga wala siya sa race eh. tama alam mo yun Uh, sobra agree ako dyan. Pero yun nga, uh, like, uh, like I said, like, yung what, what is lacking dun sa... What, these, what the coaches of the Philippines have learned how to do is think for themselves. Think outside of the box and really understand what the game is about and remove all ego from it. The ego of, I need better mechanics. Your mechanics is better than them. So, like, I can imagine that Indonesian coaches are more so like, oh, you're, you're better than them mechanically this way, so you gotta find a way to jump on them in the right way. And it's like, Bro, that's not what the game is about. Y'all are super aggressive, constantly pushing, constantly trying to get kills and stuff like that. That's that's a huge issue because it's not about that. It's not about that. And while you're doing all this pushing, trying to set up for kills, the the your enemy team is is focusing on the macro and dominating you, dominating you slowly. You have better mechanics. You probably would destroy them if they took a fair fight against you. But you're never getting a fair fight because this game is not about fair fighting. It's just not. It's about the objectives. And that's what people don't focus on. Uh, Indonesia is not the players. Kaya that's why nung, uh, yung argument ko dito is laging may kinukuha ng mga players Mm-mm. expecting na instant yung success. Pero hindi siya eh, nasa number one development yung mm-hmm. sinabi mo which is good. So para maghint- maghintay ka talaga it takes time. Number two is dun sa pag-invest dun sa mga coaches. Kasi yung coaches yung bahala sa development. Yeah. Hindi kasi trabaho ng players. Mm. Yeah, man. So there we have it, man. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below, man. This was a video full of gems, bro. Um, Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, fam.